Welcome to the presentation of the Gestica, our new innovative machine controller. My name is Thomas Ruf. I am working at Arburg in the process development department and was involved in the development process of the Gestica during testing the machine controller. A machine controller is the key of uh, efficient using of the complete system. Uh, I would start uh, with a short agen agenda. Uh, we will see something about the structure of the Gestica controller, about operator ergonomics, coming then to operating philosophy, and at the end uh, we'll hear something about compatibility and a short summary of this presentation. Uh, the control unit of the Gestica has an industry standard multi-touch technology. It has an active processor unit with a CPU, which ma makes us proven for the future. The complete system is an Arburg in-house development. This means the housing, the hardware, so electronic hardware, and also the software is an Arburg development. This makes the Gestica controller tailor-made for injection molding machines and especially tailor-made for Arburg injection molding machines. The housing is dustproof and splashproof according to IP54. It is shockproof, so there are no moving parts inside. inside. And there, are, there is a low power design for a long life of the electronic. The panel is precise, precisely adjustable. It has a 20 degree angle of inclination so that you can have a rectangle view on the screen and you also have a good position to reach the keys, to reach the slider, uh, and so on, without having a too high or a too low arm position, uh, which makes the operator tired if he works too long at the controller. Uh, the controller also has a 270 degree pivot of the screen. So you can take the screen, get it to the mold, you can r do some work at the mold, control it at the screen, have it on the same position. But you can also put it away that you can reach the nozzle. You can make some maintenance work at the nozzle, you can clean the nozzle. And at the end, you bring it back to the parking position that there are no edges or something in the way uh, if you work in production. At the end, it's, the height is electrically adjustable, so this makes us capable to, to offer an ergonomic using of the unit also for higher or smaller operators. Uh, the mobile Gestica panel has exactly the same concept than the normal Gestica panel. It has the same keys and has also a full HD resolution for the screen. Only a smaller screen is there inside. For our Gestica controller, we use real hard keys with a defined pressure point. A defined pressure point is, in our, in our view, a must in a machine controller. So if you push the button, you feel that there something should move. If you don't push it, the movement should stop. Without lifting the finger completely from the controller, what is needed if you have a real uh, or if, if you have a soft touch key. Tactile uh, inset keys also allow a blind operation. What is blind operation? Blind operation means that if you look in the mold and you have to be concentrated because 
Maybe there is a critical guidance. You push the button to close the mold. Maybe you lift it. Maybe you want to push it more to close a bit more. Lift it again. And then close completely. If you have real hard keys, you can stay on this key and you always feel that you stay on the key. If you have a, a touched surface, you always have to look, am I still on the key? Am I still on the key? And at the end, a, se a third time, oh, okay, I should go back to the key and close the mold. This is the time you lose. Uh, we want to save if we have hard keys. Additional, we have illuminated symbols on the keys. So we have two steps of illumination. A medium, medium illumination, which shows that this key could be hitted, that there is some acti active function behind. So in hand operation mode, uh, the mold or the ejector movement are medium illuminated. This means you could push the button, and if you push it, they will be highly illuminated because this is active. On the other side, if you're in automatic mode, the automatic key will be highly illuminated, and the mold movement, the ejector or the nozzle movement are not illuminated because you're not allowed to make any manual movement. From the operating philosophy, it should be a single unit. Operator hardware and software should be like all of a piece. It should be a quickly and easily operable, operable controller. The operator should receive guidance. Uh, we want to use multi-touch elements rational and efficient control saves time and money. For our controller, we want to capture information quickly. Our, control, our controller has a quite compact display compared to other machine controllers. We have chosen this compact display to have all of the information in the operator's field of vision. So the display is in the field of vision and all information could be seen. If there is more information on a bigger screen, you have to move your head or at least move your eyes. And this continuously movement of eyes and head uh, gets the operator tired. Also, the illuminated keys and the status display are put nearby to the screen because of this to avoid or at least to minimize eye and head movements. To capture information quickly, we have a new multicolored LEDs on the panel and also on the safety enclosure. Here you see the color LEDs on the panel. In production, you will see the status green for production. If something is at the peripherals, you will see a blue sign. So maybe if a box changer says, OK, I have new, uh, no empty boxes left. Or if all boxes are full, you have to bring away the full boxes. This will be shown through a blue sign. Warnings in yellow and alarms in red are shown much more significantly through the status display. We also want to have fast access to functions. Therefore, we have 24 fixed keys for production. These fixed keys uh, should make us capable to handle 90% of all production operations with these fixed keys. So if you have a mold protection alarm, if you have maybe a mold cleaning regularly where you want to clean the parting line, if you have to purge the barrel after this mold cleaning, 
you should reach all keys without changing a group or changing any setting of a key. These keys should be fixed, so you can directly reach it, you can open the mold, bring ejector forward, eject the backward, close the mold, purge the barrel and bring uh, the machine back in automatic with access of direct keys. But also Arborg is not able, especially by more and more complex systems, to put for every function a key on the controller. Therefore we have decided to make a group of 16 freely configurable keys for setup and change over. This group of 16 keys makes us able to put, uh, for example, all robot movements within one group. So all three linear axes, swiveling axis, a turning axis, can be operated without changing a group, so without losing time. At the end we have the reset keys on the controller. As a new uh, thing we have our easy slider for a direct control of speed. The easy slider can be used to control mold and ejector in setup mold. The velocity can then change between 25 and 200 percent of the actual setup speed. So the basis is the actual known slow setup speed of Arborg machines. And the operator can choose if he wants to get slower, maybe for critical molds, maybe if there is an ejector reworked in the tool shop and you want to be sure for the first time that there's nothing happening, you can reduce the speed. Or you have a mold where you say, okay, this is quite proven mold, I want to have a fast setup, uh, have a little bit more uh, velocity, and we can make the setup fast. You can choose the velocity before you start the movement or in real time while the movement uh, is active. The easy slider also controls the velocity of the robot in automatic. Known from the feed rate uh, on the Celogica controller, you can adjust the feed rate between 1 and 100 percent. At the Celogica, you can influence it with a parameter or with a plus minus button. With the easy slider, you have a much more faster and direct access to this, access to this function. So, for example, if you have an old program, uh, put it in the machine or put it in another machine and you want to be sure that all robot movements are correct. You read in the program, start the machine, put the robot in automatic and maybe reduce the speed a bit. A bit. Then you wait till the robot is on the top of the mold, go in, get a slower, Reduce the speed again if you go to the cavity. Look if vacuum position is okay. Go back. Maybe get a little bit higher speed. And if you're out of the mold, you can give uh, more speed on the robot. Maybe not to 100% for the first cycle. Maybe you wait till all position, good and bad part positions uh, are made and then you put it on 100%. So it's a known function, but you have now a much more direct and faster access. Also, you have access to the manual speed of the robot, where you can choose the speed between 1 and 20% continuously, compared to now on the Celogica, where you can choose between 1 or 20%. From the software, the Celogica offers uh, a new 
Transparent Data Input Dialog. This dialog is a summary of input, function and information. This means efficient, secure menu guidance and for example correlations can be identified much more quickly. Which correlations? So for example if you want to adjust the opening stroke of the mold. You see, okay, I can only adjust it from 250 to 240 millimeters. Why? If this stroke uh, is dependent from another uh, step in the mold opening sequence, it's easily to see because it's on the same page. But if it's maybe dependent or restricted from the robot program, which says you have to open the mold at least 240 millimeters, that there is no collision between the robot and the mold. You will see this here much more direct because it's in the information tab of the new input dialog. The graphs on the Gestica um, has made a significant change. Optically we have reworked it, but also with the, some new functions. We have a direct display of measured values, the cursor can be moved with gestures, and scaling of graphics can be made with gestures. Let me show this with a sample from a mold closing sequence, where you see mold movements, mold forces, and the mold speed. You can zoom in uh, to the size you want to see. You can move the graph to the area which is interesting and you can move directly the cursor to the position you want to have and then you can read your measured values. For example in here this is the mold touching point so you can measure where the mold halves touch together and this helps you for the setup of your mold closing uh, sequence. Coming to reliability and compatibility. The look and feel, a high recognition rate, was from the beginning of the development one of the goals we, wanna, we want to reach with our Gestica controller. So operators who know the Celogica Direct or who know the Celogica Classic also should work with the Gestica without having too much uh, effort for training. Uh, for example, the proven sequence programming, which offers us a maximum flexibility without writing some special programs or writing some special softwares, is still in the Gestica. And we have 100% 100 compatibility with the Celogica. This means the programs from Celogica Direct and, of course, also the programs of the Celogica can be read in in the Gestica controller and can be used. As summary, we could say the focus at our Gestica controller is on efficient operation. It is ergonomically efficient and individually adjustable. It has a combination of tried and tested elements and new technologies. For example, tried and tested hard keys and new technologies like the real-time multi-touch element easy slider. And at the end, we have safety for our customers thanks to reliable software and compatibility and parallel usage with Celogica. This was the presentation of our new Gestica machine controller. Uh, thanks for your attention and if there are questions, feel free to ask it.